I'm George Boston Ryan. This is kpci.blogspot.com. I can also be loc located on YouTube Boston GBR. I'm down at Serenity Church with Pastor or Senior Servant Floyd Rose. And I just heard on the radio they was talking about the equipment 10. And so uh, I heard um, Representative Tyrone Brooks talk about they made connection with the Quitman 10 through the president of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference here in Valdosta and Lyons County, Georgia. And of course, that is Reverend Floyd Rose. And so I thought I would come down. And Brother Rose, what did you contribute to uh, Tyrone Brooks or Representative David Lucas in terms of what was happening in Brooks County with Equipment 10? Well, I received a call from down there uh, informing me that they had been arrested. And I immediately got in my car and, and drove down. And after I visited the inside the jail with Diane Thomas, I came out and dubbed them the Quitman Ten. That was a, a uh, that was derived from the Gina Six, yeah. so uh, the Little Rock Nine. Yes. So we thought about the Quitman Ten, and now it's the Quitman Ten plus two. I understand two others have been arrested, but I immediately tried to get in touch with Tyrone Brooks. Um, who would in, in fact get in touch with uh, uh, Rainbow Push, the NAACP of the Atlanta area. Uh, and uh, I was not able to get in touch with him, but I was able to get in touch with uh, Senator Brown, who contacted him, I believe. The late Senator Brown. The late Senator Brown, who contacted him. And I'm excited about the prospects. I, uh, I know what looks bad, but it just looks bad today. They have done nothing wrong, and everybody needs to understand that. And what happened to them is what happened to the people in Florida. It's what happening happening to the people all over this country. There is a concerted effort to uh, just get rid of the black vote. They're doing it by uh, redrawing districts. They're doing it by gerrymandering, dis gerrymandering districts, and they're doing it by simply voter suppression. So. Um, we are proud of the equipment 10, of the stand that they're taking, and we're standing with them and by their side. How do you feel about the fact that in this particular area in Brooks County, a lot of the newsworthy information such as they have gone to Savannah, they have gone to Atlanta, it's at the state capitol, they have gone back to Macon, they have gotten support from the local community, but very little news media coverage it has been given to the general public here in South Georgia. And so my point now is that uh, are, how do you feel about the press conference that Gabby O put on in Atlanta wherein they focus on the alleged, and I do mean alleged, alleged GBI voter intimidation? Well, um, you know, when a white man puts on a gun and a badge on his chest in the South, when that white man approaches a black man or a black woman, and they're at least 55 years old and sometimes younger, mm -hmm. that in itself is intimidating. Mm -hmm. And that black person will tell that white police officer whatever he or she thinks that officer wants to hear. Now, when we get to court, of course, it becomes a different story because they find some kind of safety in their testimony. But um, that's not unusual. It happens all the time. Okay, so now, how do you, what, what, and we're getting ready to close this out. So, how, what do you think, uh, at best, what do you think at best can happen by Gabio, the SCLC, the NAACP, the People's Agenda, and Women's Group, all converging in Brooks, in equipment in Brooks? Now, what do you think the well, best thing can happen? The, the, the best thing can happen if it is publicized. Unfortunately, in this part of the country, uh, the news media has chosen to ignore those things that mean the most to us, uh, except for you and, and, and uh, perhaps uh, uh, Lee Henderson. Uh, it's, it's, it, it has become irrelevant, and that's unfortunate. Uh, during the heyday of the Civil Rights Movement, we had a friendly press, mm -hmm. a friendly press. Now the press is either hostile mm -hmm. or simply ignores what we do. And with Rainbow Push, the People's Agenda, uh, representatives of the uh, NAACP at the state level, uh, SCLC, coming to Quitman for this weekend. 
if that is ignored by the press, that would really be a tragedy. I hope they don't ignore it. Yeah, because this is a historic, this is an, an historic event. But, Dr. One of, I, I, I just can't stop. I just enjoy talking to you. But if the Quitman 10, and they do, have all these credentials, in other words, Dr. Dennett got a PhD, I mean, she's a doctor, and yet some, most of the other ones got college degrees, but that has never been published in the South Georgia news media. Why do you think that they will well, cover all this other stuff, but never... They because they don't want to give them credibility. Just think about it for a moment. Dr. Dennett, Diane Thomas, these people are educators, yeah. ranked among the best in the state. Now, they've been relieved by the governor, and the people who were running that system have been put back in place who, had, who, 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 who created the problems that it had. And these black folk, highly educated, highly responsible, when they were elected, and some of them were only elected with the help of whites. So black folk didn't just elect them. Diane Thomas ran at large. She was elected primarily by white voters. So it's, it's, it's a shame that um, uh, whoever decision, whosever decision it was to have them arrested and have them investigated, we all know that if the whites had won, you never would have heard anything about this. Okay. Fact of the matter is they're black, they won, and they're educated, and they don't want our children ultimately to really be educated because it takes away the reason they brought us to this country. And, and, and in addition to that, you just getting me stirred up. I want to miss three minutes, but look, the, is not it, this is history that the first time in Brooks County, the Board of Education is, it has a majority black board. Not, not just that. <laughs> the Board of Education in Brooks County is the largest employer mm -hmm. in the county, mm -hmm. which means that you had black folk in charge of the money. Mm -hmm. And if you think that that was not a concern of theirs, you need to take a look at history. Okay. Well, Brother Rose, we appreciate you as always being with us. And what I like about Brother Rose, he's, when I come by, he's always available. And I want to thank you for the work that you've done in the community with the SCLC, as well as the NAACP. You and me touched and worked together. We thank you. Uh, other people may see you as a negative in this community, but you shall always be the pearl within a pearl in my heart and among many others here in the city of Alabaster, Georgia. Any closing comments as we go? Yes, I want to thank uh, George for his uh, determination to make sure that the people in this area know what's going on. Uh, you know, if a tree falls in the forest, and nobody hears it, nobody sees it, even though it fell, it would only be making noise for nothing. Thank this, you. Thank you. This is kvci.blogspot.com. We're down at Serenity Church. Thank you very much, and I think that we all will be blessed. Bye-bye. We're gone.